In Unity, you can move character in different ways. One of them is navigation, which has been changed in new versions. My Unity version is 2022-313-F1. In first step, you should be connected to the internet and go to the window Package Manager. In Unity Registry, search for AI Navigation Package and install it. Now right click in hierarchy, from AI, create a nav mesh surface. In first step, to see places that will be baked, up here, choose these three dots, and select overlay menu. Select AI navigation, from surfaces, activate show nav mesh option. Now all bakeable surfaces are visible in blue, and you can see them. Select bake button. Blue surfaces are the walkable surfaces for the character. If you wanted to specify your character's height and dimensions, or limit your character movement in some surfaces, click on Agent Type, then select Open Agent Settings. Here you can specify your character's radius and height. And by changing a step height, you can specify how high the character can climb. Its main usage is for climbing the stairs. For example, look at these stairs. If we decrease a step height number and click Bake button, the stairs are not blue anymore. Means, character can't climb them up. But if we increase its number more than a stairs height, they'll become blue again and character can cross them. And at last, max slope is the maximum angle that character can climb. We'll talk about other options and their usage in future videos. After setting desired options and baking, we need to go for the character moving. We wanna whenever we right click, character goes to that point. So we use this script. In this section, I define it a nav mesh agent and a camera. In update point, we detect mouse right click, and if it happens, we get the coordinates of right click point on a screen with raycast. And with this void, by set destination command, character goes to the click point. Now give the script to player and add navmesh agent component for it. Then give navmesh agent to define that navmesh agent and give camera to cam. Let's test. First play, when I click anywhere, character goes to that point and looks at it. If you wanted to modify character's speed, you can change the speed in Navmesh Agent's component. You can change rotating speed by changing angular speed. And you can change acceleration by changing acceleration. Navigation has a lot of details. We leave them be there for now. Let's test it. As I click somewhere, character goes towards it with a higher speed than before. Next thing the player needs is to play animation during running and stopping. I have idle and run animation from before, which you know how to create them from previous tutorials. I've defined an integer called mode. When it is 0, idle animation plays, and if it be 1, run animation plays. Now we only need to detect character moving from within code, to change the mode integer based on that. In update void, you can detect when character is moving with this command, navvishagent.velocity.magnitude greater than 1. And in else, we find out when character is stopped. So play running animation in this if. And play idle animation in this else. An external point. If you want to make game screen size full screen, click this option and select play maximize. This is the final result. Now anywhere you right click, character goes towards that point. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.